Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing. It is Wednesday, so you're halfway through the week and that's just awesome. And so, <laughs> funny story, um, Aaron and I were watching YouTube videos yesterday, I believe, or the day before yesterday, and he just, you know, decided, or he played my vlog on the TV because he just streamed it to the Chromecast, right? And of course, it's always weird for me to see myself talk after I've like edited my video and stuff. But then the um, Chromecast, the YouTube app on the Chromecast, like automatically played another video of mine. And it happened to be my cozy mystery book haul from June 16th of 2017. And we started watching some of it. And I was a little cringy a little bit because that's like 10 days after I started my channel. And, um, so, but when I started listening, I started like going through my mind and my library of, do I still have any of these books? Have I read any of these books? So I thought that I would give you guys an update on it. So hopefully I'll be able to edit my video into this video and like, so you can see my reactions and stuff. I hope that that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I've got my, my laptop here and I'm going to uh, watch myself talk and I'm not gonna make fun of myself because I hate it whenever I make when people make fun of themselves but some of the things that I do I'm like oh come on come on no no Courtney no bad Courtney bad but okay let's let's start so this series a cats in trouble series so now oh, now whenever I'm like when I mess up and I go blah, 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 still do that but I edit it out because it would be a lot if I didn't. To the time where I used to have an intro and then I watched a video about how um, most people lose interest in the uh, videos within like so many seconds or whatever. So I stopped having like a little intro thingamabob. Courtney from Courtagonist and today I am going to show you my cozy mystery book haul. Woo! I'm super super excited to show you. <laughs> I still remember the woo! I want to know where those earrings are. Like I'm still wearing my necklace and I still have that shirt and that's when my hair used to be light. I lightened my hair last summer. I remember that. Do the six book haul series z -z 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 that I Hold recently, I am addicted to mystery novels, specifically cozy mystery novels. And hopefully this video will get you into the cozy mystery sort of reading. So without further ado, let's start. The first cozy mystery series that I am going to introduce is the Bake Shop Mystery series by Ellie Alexander. And I have the first five of her I now have the first eight of her series plus the rest of her series and her new series of natural thorn killer plus I have death on tap and pint of no return so needless to say I rocked it on this series I kicked this series but I ate it for lunch I am very proud of myself for reading the series I'm pretty sure that this is not going to continue on my like, I'm not, I don't think I've kicked it out of the park, but with, with Ellie or Kate Dyer Seeley, knocked it out. Series starting with Meet Your Baker. This series revolves around Juliet Capshaw and she returns to her hometown, Ashland, Oregon, to help heal a broken heart and to help her mom run their local bakery. Now, she is a culinary artist. She just got done with culinary school, and she's just returned home to sort of get her life back into sorts. The first book in the series is Meet Your Baker. It is actually set during their Shakespeare festival, when one of Juliet's customers is actually found murdered. Not only is she a customer of their bake shop, but she is also a board member of the Shakespeare festival. And she wasn't a very well-liked character. It is up to her and her local investigator who... I do think I've gotten better with editing though. It's not so choppy. 
because this is like maybe my third or fourth video on my channel that I did and I got really, really, really choppy because I was always like, no, it has to be perfect. No, it has to be perfect. But now you guys like me and my flaws and my, my word flubs and, and, and everything like that. You guys just know how I am. And so I don't feel so self-conscious when um, I have to say things. And if I do have to re-say something, I know now to take a breath and like, wait a second and then restart. Before I was just like, oh crap, I messed up. I gotta go. Da, 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 da. And then like I'd start all over again really, really fast and wouldn't give myself very much room for editing for error. Who actually used to be an old flame from high school to find and catch the murderer so that the Shakespeare Festival can continue and get the revenue for the city that they need. So, so far in this series, I have read Meet Your Baker, and I have read the second book in the series, A Batter of Life and Death. <laughs> now, I have a... I still have a weakness for puns. A weakness for funny puns, especially in the title. It just, it tickles me, and I just, when I see it in the bookstore, I can't help but go, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I, I don't know if the series is good, I don't know what's gonna happen, but... You got me, Ellie Alexander. You got me. The second series that I'm gonna talk to you about is actually a magical bakery series by Bailey Cates. I love the fact that her titles are all alliteration, like brownies and broomsticks, bewitched, bothered, and biscotti. Okay, still have, where are they? Uh, they're right here. Uh, still have read all six books that are, that are out right now. I think there might be a seventh one out, so I need to get that one. But still in love with that whole entire series. I love that series. So you know what? Out of the six series that I'm gonna talk about, two for two so far. Yeah, two for two. It's a pun and it's alliteration. The teacher in me is squealing. It's fantastic. So first in the magical bakery mystery is brownies and broomsticks. This series revolves around the story of Katie Lightfoot, and she's tired of working in a bakery that she has no ownership of. So her, her uncle Ben, and Aunt Lucy decide to open their own bake shop, Honey Bee Bakery, which is actually named after Katie's cat, which is fantastic. I love it when animals are... It's not Katie's cat, it's Lucy's cat, her aunt. Katie's actually allergic to cats, and Katie has a dog, so... Past Courtney was wrong. Are intertwined in the uh, stories. So, Katie realizes that her Aunt Lucy is adding particularly, not necessarily baking herbs into their goodies. And she's wondering what her aunt does. Why is she Magic. doing that? And finally, she realizes that her aunt is a witch, a good witch at that, but a witch nonetheless. As their bakery becomes more and more popular, they're getting more and more customers. Well, one morning, they stumble upon a particularly grouchy customer, and he is found outside of their bakery murdered. Of course, their local sheriff believes that the prime suspect is Katie's uncle, Ben, and it's up to her and her Aunt Lucy and a little bit of magic to try and figure out who the real suspect is. The third series that I am going to introduce to you guys is A Coffee House Mystery by Cleo Coyle. Now, I've actually read the first one on three for three. Look at this, my, my Cleo Coyle series. Now, I have read one through four so far, so I'm doing well, um, but I'm missing some in the series before I can go on to the other books that I have, so I have to catch up with that. But still have the series, still love the series, still read the series. On what grounds, and if you follow my social media on Instagram, I've been posting about it as I have been reading it. And this is a fantastic series. It follows the life of Claire Causey. She is a coffee professional. She knows all about the ins and outs, the history of coffee. Claire Causey is returning from New Jersey. Coffee. Courtney, don't cut yourself off of a word. It's coffee, not coffee. Where she raised her daughter in the suburban area, given an offer that she can't refuse by Madam, the owner of the historical coffee house Vintage Blend in New York. She's asked to come back and manage it. Not only is Madam 
the owner of the vintage blend, but she's also Claire's ex-mother-in-law. Scandal! And throughout the series, you can see Madame trying to get Claire back with Matteo, her son. But on Claire's very first day moving in to the loft above the coffee house, she stumbles upon a accident that happened with her assistant manager. Now the police, one of the things that I love about the Coffee House Mystery Series is the fact that it is based in a big city in New York area. But what I love about it is that they still have neighborhoods that feel like small towns. So it's sort of like a small town within a big city, which is rare within the cozy mystery genre because normally it's a small town. So she's sort of gotten away with having her um, whole entire series be in a big city because the neighborhood feels like a small town. Take up evidence and they find that this was just an accident. But Claire's gut feeling has another hypothesis. She doesn't believe it was an accident. As the story continues, you follow along with Claire and you try and figure out who or if it was an accident. And if it was, how did it happen? Who did it if it wasn't an accident? What's fantastic about this series is that it's really, really hard to get me um, to not know who the murderer is or know the who done it, but this book actually made it to where I couldn't figure it out. It was it was absolutely a fantastic read due to the fact that she got me, and that's really rare to be able to do. For how many mysteries I have read, I normally can get it, but not this time. If you want to read something that is beautifully written, the characters are really well. Um, drawn out and they give you enough background and you actually learn some history about coffee because I love myself some coffee. <laughs> Edit. I now no longer can drink coffee because um, for some reason my taste buds have changed and it doesn't matter how I make my coffee, it tastes really gross. So I love me some tea. Lots and lots and lots and lots of tea. Then this is a fantastic series to read. I'm reading her second book right now through the grinder. I'm about 50, 60 pages into it, and so far it is just as beautifully written as the first book. I'm super excited to get into this series and, and to figure out how Claire develops and what choices she makes throughout the series. So you should go and pick this up. The just so you know, fun fact, um, the author, Cleo Coyle, actually writes this series along with her husband did not know that. I think it's later in the series that she starts writing with her husband. But yeah, he is a co-author with her. The next series that I'm going to talk about is the Cats in Trouble series by Lee and Swinney. This series is all about Jillian. She if you guys saw my recent unhaul, the, the unhaul of Cozy Mysteries, um, I unhauled all of these books because I did not like them, because I messed up in the order and I tried to listen to it on audiobook and apparently it wasn't the first book in the series and the audiobook put me off because I didn't like the narrator and then I just couldn't get into the series. And so, past Courtney, I know you're about to be super excited, like super excited. She's adorable how excited she is. It didn't happen, Courtney, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I failed you. She is recently widowed and she has come to figure out that she needs to start brand new. So she moves into a new house with her three cats. Her three cats are all named after wine. There's Chablis, there's Merlot, and there's Syrah. In the first book of the series, The Cat, the Quilt, and the Corpse, Jillian comes home to find that her house has been broken into and one of her cats has been kidnapped or catnapped. So <laughs> she... I winked at you guys, catnapped. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Self five. That was awesome. She has made it her mission to figure out who keeps kidnapping cats. She falls upon a corpse, and now 
it seems that the cat maps and the corpse are intertwined in the same kind of mystery. So she makes it her, her goal to figure out who done it, who is stealing cats and why, and it. why was this person murdered? So if you like the idea of cats being involved and you like the idea of a older protagonist, then I would read and I would pick up this series. The next series that I'm gonna talk about. Something that bothered me was, I know that I still do it sometimes now, but I didn't like hold the book up all the way so y'all could see it. Like it was always like, oh look, you're gonna catch like a little, 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 little thing of it. Like here's the corner of the book. Here's the, here's the this. I'm like, Courtney, just, just bring it up, bring it up, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, just, just a tiny bit. Talk about is the Bookmobile Cat Mysteries by Lori Cass. As you can see, I have the first four books. Now, as you guys know, if you're part of the Cozy Mystery Book Club book club, um, we did read this in April, March, April, I think, um, and did not enjoy it as much. So I did give this series a try and did read the first full first book, but I did unhaul this series as well. The first book is called Lending a Paw. This series revolves around Minnie, a librarian, whose goal is to spread the love of reading by driving a bookmobile around her county and having people check out books from the library that way. You don't have to go to the library, the library comes to you. On her very first outing, she is actually followed by a tabby cat. Trying to shoo away the tabby cat, he seems to be very stubborn and refuses to leave. She finds her He is the star of the show with a co-pilot or a co-cat pilot and she names him Eddie. Their very first day of going and delivering books has come with no surprises. It seems to be very very chill and relaxing until they come upon their last stop and Eddie bursts out of the truck to go run down an alley. Of course Minnie's like what is he doing? Why is he running away? So she follows him. They come across a corpse of a local man. Now, she was perfectly fine with letting the local police officers take over the case, but Eddie's acting strange. It seems that he doesn't believe the man's killing was a mere accident. He believes that it's murder. So Minnie, with her co-pilot and her sidekick, Eddie, try to figure out who done it. Who killed the local man? Why did they kill the local man? This seems like a really, really, really good series to read. I haven't started it yet, but I'm super excited to. Let me know down below if you've read this series and tell me what you think about it. And the final series that I hauled is the Goodbye Girl series by Josie Bell. Now this series is all... Now, I do still have this series. It's up here. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's up here. I still have all four books that I hauled originally in this video. I still have not read it, however. I'm hoping, actually, that this series can go um, for a book club book of the month series because I think that it would be a lot more fun to read with others and to see how they like it and everything. It's not that I don't want to read it. I just want to see if um, we could read it for maybe the, the Cozy Mystery Book Club. About women who are part of sort of a discount club. They want to find the best of deal. The first book in the series is 50% Off Murder. And this series revolves around a group of penny-pinching women who call themselves the Goodbye Girls. They're extreme. Get it? Goodbye girls, like you're buying something. Goodbye girls. Only thrifty women who are always looking for a good deal. In the first book, 50% Off Murder, Maggie Gerber finds her friend, Claire Fremont, is acting extremely so I noticed that I'm like looking off to the side because what I actually used to do is if I hadn't read the book yet, I would um, have a journal where I would write down little hints on what the synopsis of a book was and then I'd look at it and then I'd talk to the camera. But now I just read the back of the book and actually explain it to Erin and then I explain it to you guys because I feel like if you can explain it to someone else then you'll be able to explain it to others. So yeah. 
weird. She's late to one of the goodbye girl meetings, which is extremely unlike her friend. She goes to visit Claire and finds that maybe things aren't as abnormal as they seem until they stumble upon a dead body. Bum, bum, bum. The brand new sheriff and Maggie's old flame, Sam Collins, is pinning the murder on her friend Claire mm -hmm. Fremont, and it's up to her and her thrifty friends to cut a deal to find out who really did the murder. Can they make a deal with Sam Collins? Or are they gonna have to pay full price? Check out the series and see what happens. Well guys, that is the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some amazing new series that you want to read. Comment down below if you've read any of these series and tell me what you thought of them. What are some of your favorite cozy mystery series or series in, in general? And <laughs> as always, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye. Well, I know you'll longer use that outro or this picture that one of my students drew of me. So overall, you know, I've read three out of six um, of the Cozy Mystery series that I had hauled. I unhauled two of them, but after reading the first book in one and then just messing myself up on the other, and I still have another series up here that I still really want to get to and read. So overall, you know, I don't think it's too bad. I read 50% of them so far and I was, you know, I think I'm, I think I did pretty good. Self five, Courtney. Good job, past Courtney. You're good. You're good. So um, let me know what you guys thought about me going back into one of my past videos from the very beginning of my channel and seeing if I still have the books, if I've read them. Um, do you guys do that? Do you guys go and look at your books and you're like, man, when was the last time I talked about that book or or anything like that? I've noticed that, you know, things have, have changed over the, the year that I have been on BookTube and my reading tastes have changed. They've, you know, they've broadened. They've done, you know, all different kinds of things. And so I'm super, super happy that, but that I'm still reading what I'm buying. Like I'm not just buying things for the hype. I'm not just buying things because to buy them. But then I'm also not keeping books that I know that I'm not going to read, that I've lost interest in. So I'm still, I'm getting those books out to people who are going to enjoy them the most. So please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.